guys, I found something import. Matter of fact, two of them. And I just did a video on Triumph, and I found another one. But this time I found a Fiat as well. And they're sitting next to one another. So we're going to do the Fiat first, then we'll get to the other Triumph. You're going to like these two. Okay, guys, we got ourselves a 79 Fiat Spider. Four cylinder. <laughs> the little thing may have been small, but even though they were made with steel, they were still light compared to some other cars. It's Italian made. Fiat Italian made car. And they had some nice cars, by the way, back in the day. They got some nice cars today. But this one here is a Survivor. And check out the door latch. Look at that. There's one finger opens it up. That's what they did back in the day. One finger touch. This thing here is a convertible, of course. You see it's a stick shift. This camel, just about color interior, leather interior, all in the back. I can't get back there, it's too, too, too cramped for me to do anything video wise. You see the dashboard. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, this thing turned out to be a nice little find. I look down the fuselage there, yeah, I don't see too many marks or nicks. There's a Fiat's badge right there. Ain't that something? I like how the gas door is. All the way back on the fender. That was European design. Definitely. Let's take a look at the driver's side. And I do love this one finger door handle. <laughs> That's something. This is a nice find right here. Hmm. Feel the cracks and tears on the seats. But what's this here? I don't know. But that's not the gas, because the gas is right here. Oh well, nice little find anyway. Okay guys, now that we did that Fiat, we're gonna look at this Triumph. Um, it's a nice one. Beautiful car, convertible as well. You know, can't find too many hard tops. <laughs> Let's take a look. Okay guys, this is a 75 Triumph Spitfire, 1500. It's a four speed and a four cylinder. We're gonna first look at the front end, because that was for their front end plate, license plate. That thing sticks way out there. Look at these bumpers. Both bumpers. And the signal lights on each side down there. This is a true sports car. A true sports car, Roadster. As you can see, convertible. But it has a decent front end. It almost reminds you of a Porsche right in there. And then we take a look at the driver's side. Check this out. That's the hood latch. So you got the latch like that on both sides and the hood, the front of the hood opens up and goes that way. Pretty 
pretty tight fit in here. So we're gonna get in here as best as we can. As you get a good look at the trunk, now you get to see the back end. Yeah, this little thing is sharp. I'm not finding anything much on the hood as far as nicks. Definitely not finding any rust spots. Let's check out the passenger side. Okay. Looking at the driver's side door. You see your handles down there. This is what you use to close the door with. It's just a little hand grip slot. Your handles down there to open the door. Dashboard looks good. Stick shift, pretty clean in here. Going across. Can't complain about that. Floors look like well, at least the carpet may need a little bit of attention. But this is 75, so hey, still look pretty solid. There are no seats back here. Yeah, some seats, but no, it's a, a like a, a board back there where the speakers are. That's all. But I can't get back all the way in there. So we get to see what we can. Let's check out the other side. See the driver's side, the same setup as the passenger side. Door handle here. Latch down there. This ain't a car for big guy. <laughs> No, no, not for me. But this thing here would make a nice car for someone if they wanted to purchase it. That is a nice find.